Everybody wants to make $10,000 online, but creating content alone will simply not get you there. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I designed a high converting landing page for an actual client. You can follow step by step alongside this video to build your own landing page. Or if you want my team to help build it for you, book a call, link down in the description below. All right. So a little context for this particular client. She has a nine to five job, but she also has a side business as a KonMari consultant. So a little context of what a KonMari consultant is. So there's this Japanese lady who founded this movement. She's really famous on Netflix. She's really big. Basically what she does is she goes to people's houses where the house is really messy and she helps the owner tidy and organize the house. So the original Japanese lady is so famous now that she opens up a coaching program for other people to become a KonMari consultant just like her. So my client over here bought that coaching program where she is now a certified KonMari consultant where she can also do this coaching for other people who want this service. And she came to me saying that, hey, I think with a proper good looking website, I would look a lot more professional and therefore I would have a higher conversion rate when people Google me up. All right. Okay. So this is the, the mirror board or the whiteboard where I place all the stuff and you can see the progress of this project from left to right. And I'm going to walk you through each and every one of these steps. So the first thing that we did is on the discovery call, I asked her about KonMari's website. This is the original lady. And then from our brainstorming session, I said that, hey, there's this other creator that also has girl boss vibe that you like, right? So she mentioned something like, okay, I like pastel colors and I want it to be girl boss vibe. And I'm like, okay. So at the time I thought WordPress was the best option for both of us. So that's exactly what we did. She registered her domain name with Hostinger and WordPress is the page builder of choice. Now this over here is a onboarding document that I sent to the client. So she needs to answer all the questions like, what is your offer? What are you selling? All that information about a business is collected here and how much are you charging and that kind of stuff. So it will take time for her to get back to me. So while I'm doing that, this is a project checklist for me or whoever I hire to build this landing page. It's a checklist to make sure that I've installed everything and done everything correctly, right? So that includes the plugins I got to install, all the settings in the WordPress that I got to do, stuff like that. So off I went to do some research. There's this one lady called Esther. She's doing exactly what my client is doing, but, but this particular person is based in Singapore. So what I like is that she portrays how she's charging the clients. I like her website. However, I don't like that she's trying to copy the original KonMari a little too much. Then I found this other lady over here Sunny, which has a really good Muslim girl boss vibe, which is exactly what my client is. And she really resonated with this style. So looking at these two together, the design game plan is Esther's website, which is this one right here, has a really good website structure all in one page, which is what we try to emulate. But we want to add the flavor and color from the Muslim lady here, muted pastel colors. So then I had a bunch of tagline ideas, which is the headline. A few of them I did manually. And then I put that into Gemini AI to give me more variations. So what I did next is to do the color palette. And how I did this is to go to Pinterest and type in muted girl vibe pastel colors or something like that. And just take a look around. There's so many options and, and Pinterest is really good at finding visual stuff, much better than Google in my opinion. So anyway, I found these three color palettes that I think is what my client wanted. And out of these three, I picked this one right over here. The cool thing is that you can also put this into AI and ask for feedback. Hey, this is my client. She's trying to do this. I found this color palette. What do you think? And then AI gave out all this information, basically confirms or disagree with my theory that this is a good match for her. So then I went ahead and did the color palette. So this is a manual thing. So I had these four squares using these colors here. I would know what is the basic color, the primary and secondary color using the combination here, 60% for the base, 30% for the secondary, 10% for the primary. How does that look like in the combination over here? We can see that none of the colors are clashing. So when we build the website later, it will be a combination of these four things. So I don't have to think what color goes where pretty cool. So in terms of her font, we want something girly, but at the same time, very premium because she's charging a premium price. I also was surprised by how much money she can actually charge for this stuff. It's really a time to be alive. Anyway, we went with Prata as the headline 
and Open Sans or Proxima Nova as the body font. So off I went to make the first draft on WordPress. This is a small project. I just built it on WordPress right away. So this is the first draft I did. A lot of the stuff is missing. So I replaced it with whatever I have. So for example, she didn't have a VSL. So I put my VSL here. These are all the companies that she worked with. These are the problem statement. This is the, hey, get results like this. This is like social proof. And what is the KonMari method? We have to explain what her thing is. And down here is how does my thing work? Step one, two, three. This is more social proof, what it's like working with me, client testimonials before and after working with me. And this is a little bit about who she is. At this time, I didn't have any materials from her. So I just put my picture in there so she can visualize what kind of pictures she can take. For more social proof, if she has case studies, we put them here. She doesn't have any. That's why I put mine in as a placeholder. Place a, hey, do you want this free planner? Then get this. Otherwise, if you're ready to work with me, why don't you book a free consultation call? And down here, these are what other people are saying about me, more testimonials and then FAQ. So this is a excellent first draft. And for people to book a call with her, I asked her to purchase TidyCal. TidyCal is very similar to Calendly. The difference is for TidyCal, if you want people to pay you to book the consultation, that one is a paid version, but it's only $29 one time compared to Calendly where you have to pay them like $10 a month. It's an ongoing thing. So I think this is a much better value because you only pay $29 one time. Then I showed this to her and she was like, Hey, first draft is ready. Here's how it looks. I like the colors and ideas as mentioned. I get to see the landing page coming up. So that's the thing. Even if it's the first draft, I just like do it right away on WordPress because the client can see taking form, even though it's not pretty. At the time, I had a lot of clients, so I had to hire this virtual assistant from the Philippines to help me do this. All right, so a couple of days later, I have the next draft where I work behind the scenes between me and the VA. So I'm like, hey, please change this. Do that, do this. And for the results, I want something like this before and after. Can you do this on Photoshop? And he said, yes. So these are all the comments that I have for the VA. And at this point, Honey gave me a bunch of pictures of her actual client, but it was messy because everything was in a single folder. So what we did was I told the VA, hey, I want something like this before and after. Can you do this? And he said, yeah, sure. So at this point, he had something like this. He was pretty good at Photoshop, but it just looks a little weird for me. This was not her color palette. And also on mobile view, this works on the desktop, but it doesn't work on the mobile. So I had to tell the VA, like, hey, you got to fix this. Okay, moving forward. And next, he came back later. And then I gave some feedback to him like, hey, do this, change this. And I said, I don't like these images. Can we try something else? Oh, you fix this. Thank you. And down here, I added this background. So basically just me and the VA. So we know what's up, what we did. And we fixed the mobile section. And this is the part where he did this, which looks a lot better. But now the before and after is really hard to read. And I said, hey, can we do something else? Maybe something like this. It's easier to see before and after. But at the same time, I feel like the red and green does not jive with the color palette. So let's try something else out. I submitted this draft to the client which looks pretty good. The client was pretty happy. I was awaiting more stuff from her and she gave me a bunch of pictures and this was the handover. All right, at this time she didn't have a VSL yet. So I just put in one of her Instagram videos. Logos are here, is this you problem statement. And this is the get results like these. I think looks a little bit better before and after using her color palette. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice place to show who she is. Very nicely done photo. She has the certified KonMari Silk Consultant over there. And then instead of using stock images for the sessions, now it's pictures of her actually doing the thing. Looks really nice. So what's it like working with me? Unfortunately, she doesn't have more than this because she wasn't conscious to collect it. Sometimes when you work with clients, you just have to work with whatever you got and make the best out of it. All right, this is your life before and after working with me. This is a really nice place to show a little bit more about who she is. And I think it's very tastefully done. This is her lead magnet. And this is the book a consultation with her FAQs. All right, so there you go. That's exactly how I design a landing page for this coach or consultant. If you just follow this along, you should be able to design your own landing page. But if you want me and my team to help build this for you so you can focus on other things in your business, book a call, link down in the description below. So now you know how I build a landing page for myself and for my clients. Do you want to see how I get the views from YouTube and from my content to my landing page? And how does that convert to leads, customers and clients? If you want to see how I do that, watch this video right here.